Hello, good evening, our friends. Today we will learn how to model solid, how to model 3D pipings using SolidWorks. In this tutorials, we will use 3D sketch feature of SolidWorks. First of all, start the SolidWorks and new. Click here. Make sure that part which are active. Click OK. Now go to sketch. In here, this is the sketch for 2D mod. Here is small arrow. Click it. And this, click the 3D sketch command. Now we have installed in the 3D sketch mod. First of all, we will draw the profile of a pipe. Uh, sorry, uh, first of all, we will draw the trajectory of a pipe. Then we will draw the profile of the pipe. After that, we will use the sweep command to run this profile about that sketch trajectory. So let's start to make trajectory. Select the line command. You can see here that x y you are in x y bar planes on x y plane. As you bring the cursor to the region, it will turn x color. Make note one thing that all dimensions are in millimeter. Click here. Then you should follow this yellow line. Click here. In order to uh, change the sketch plane directions, press the tab button, tab key on the keyboard. It will turn YZ. Again, click here. So you are now on YZ plane. Again, press the tab button. Now, again, you are on X plane. Click here. Now, again, click the tab key. So that you may active the ZX plane. Click here. Click again here. No click here. No. As you bring it, the it is X Y plane. After that, click OK. So we have sketched this trajectory using the three D sketch feature. Now, now we will dimension it. Click on the dimension tool that is present on here. Select this line, click, enter 40 for its value, then give the dimension to this vertical line, enter 75, similarly again, enter 80, enter 50. 
give this 35 then this also 35 enter 80 for this one enter 40 enter 100 you have you should note one thing that the uh, whole sketch has color turn its color to black it means that our sketch is fully defined now we completed trajectory but one thing remains in order to as pipe never have any pipe have no any sharp corner so we will use its fillet command select its fillet command enter the radius 5 let's check fillet enter the two lengths this and this you can change the radius to 10 similarly select these two lengths and then this and this length and this and this one then this and this one again this and this one this and this one this and this one click ok you can see here how we created this split using sketch split command exit this is the trajectory of the pipe now we will draw profile of the pipe that will start from this point and will end at this point again as you that uh, profile will be normal to the this line so we have to select the YZ planes in order to the make profile normal to this line. Again, go to the 3D sketch command. Select the circle command. Press the tab key to change the sketch plane. Currently, that is that is this is the XY this is the YC sketch the circle to circle now dimension the circle this is the 5 and outer circle dia is the it. Hmm. I have to be sketch. Smart. So we have completed the profile, pi profile that is circle. That uh, I mean we want to make a pipe with inner ID, inner dia 5 mm and outer die of the 8 mm and this is the pipe trajectory now sketch the feature here and select the sweep box feature here are the two boxes this box will show uh, the profile box and this is the trajectory box first of all we will select the profile Click the plus button here and select 3D sketch 2. Now, sir, now we will give the trajectory. Click here. Click OK. 
so in this way we have created pipe using the 3d sketch feature as well as sweep boss feature of solidworks summarizing, the, summarizing this tutorials first of all i draw a trajectory of a pipe using the 3d sketch feature after that i make uh, a circle using all the but that um, as a profile of a pipe but that circle was normal to the dot line of the trajectory then i use the sweep feature of solid works in which uh, i gave the profile sketch and also trajectory sketch so i think you must enjoy this tutorial okay goodbye take care